hello guys in this video i will show you how to install and customization laravel 12 starter kits so let's get started so you can see that laravel 12 is out today and you can see that they also updated their official website and you can see there is a read documents if i click on it okay if i go here and you can see that there is a redirect to the installation step okay and first of all you need to install laravel command in your ubuntu windows or mac os so let me go here and they already provide the command for mac os for windows you need to run this command and for linux you need to run this command okay after that you need to run composer global required laravel installer so you can do that and i already did in my ubuntu system so let me go here and let me let me run the laravel command in my terminal okay if hit enter you can see that i already installed laravel installer 5.12 okay and now after that you can install new laravel version okay and that will be asked about starter kit before that they are asking for laravel breeze or laravel Jetstream. but in this this case in laravel 12 just asking for view live wire view or react and let's get started okay so first of all let's install one app so i will say laravel new and then i will say laravel 12 app okay and hit enter you can see that it will ask you like which starter kit would you like to install if you don't want anything then just none and if you want react then you can choose react view live wire so in this case i am going to use live wire so hit enter and then it's asking you about the inbuilt authentication so i want to say yes hit enter and about the testing for now just paste by default and you can see that it's going to create new laravel 12 app okay and let's wait a moment to install that okay it's taking some time to download all the composer dependencies Yeah, API application key is also generated. Yeah, paste, you know, testing paste uh, composer package is also installing. Okay, let's wait a moment to installing all the dependencies. You don't have to do anything after at the end. It will ask you, do you want to install NPM and run build? yes because i also want to install because i choose react.js so hit enter okay and it will download npm dependencies okay so let's wait a moment okay now install completed and now let me go here and cd i will say level 12 app okay and let me run the project okay so php artisan serve okay and now let me go here and go and i will say localhost 8000 and you can see that there is a first page laravel 12 and that's already changed the first landing page okay now what i will do same thing if i go here registration you can see that they also change the design of registration page and for login page and this is much more beautiful and before that okay and let me open our project to the my editor so let me go here and go and open okay and i will choose over here laravel let me refresh it okay laravel 12 app okay and trust and open okay you can see that if i go to the composer json yeah yeah you can see that laravel 12 over here okay and now let me register one user okay so i will say my name and then set up the password okay okay now created and you can see that much beautiful design of the dashboard you can see over here and if i click on settings you can see that perfectly fine you know you can see that you can also switch to the dark mode and you can see the system mode you can see that so it's very beautiful design and you can like you know you can create the much more configuration so now you can see that this is installed with react we choose the react uh, js okay so now they also provide the customization so let me go here into editor and then i will going to resource js and then i will go here and app layout okay and here if i say like sidebar if you want to do like you know this is the sidebar but uh, 
in our older version laravel 11 they have a header you know so let me go here and they already provide two options for the sidebar and header so here i'm going to change header save it and if i refresh yeah nothing because we run, we need to run laravel npm dev so npm run dev okay and now it's running real time so let me go here and if i refresh it yeah you can see over here okay localhost you can see that header is up the sidebar is gone so you can see you can use with the sidebar or you can use with header okay so let me scroll back save it okay you can see that it's back to the our old okay with the sidebar okay and then let me go here and let me show you another configuration as well okay so let me go to the components sidebar and here if i go here and here they say variant okay by default it's a incent i will choose floating okay save it okay now you can see that like much sidebar is highlighted okay and let me show you back incent okay and then you can see here it's highlighted the content okay same thing you can also choose there is a third option that's called sidebar save it and you can see that now both are highlight equally okay so you can also customization that variant as well okay and then you can see over here is the dashboard so now i am going to add new over here that's called events so i will say events and here i'm going to say events and you can see here is the dashboard icon okay so laravel 12 using lucid icon so let me go here and let's show you you can see that in lucid icon there is a lots of icons so you can use whatever you want so here i'm going to use for like calendar okay calendar icon save it okay and now let me go here into the dashboard you can see that i can also add easily now bar over here events you can see okay and same thing if i log out here okay and then i am going to go here into the registration page this is the default registration option okay now let me go here and there is already provide the different configuration for layout so let me go here in auth folder there is a three different layout provide for the login register okay so you can see that by default using simple then if you want to use card save it and now you can see here with the card so it's perfect if you don't like this then you can change with another third option also they given split okay save it and now if i go here you can see that much beautiful okay so you can see that laravel 12 provided proper starter kit and you can use with tilewind css and you know i love it this one so if you like this video then share with your friends and subscribe my channel and thank you so much for watching guys